Hey everybody, so today we are going to be doing a style of Illustrator. We're gonna kind of get a, a tutorial on how to kind of break into Illustrator for the first time. But instead of just doing something where like open Illustrator, make a line, we are going to be making something kind of like this. So we're gonna be learning how to make solid colors, gradients, different shapes, as well as adding pictures, even though Illustrator doesn't really um, do pixel based stuff. We're going to show you how picture adding is still possible and how to kind of create some of these techniques. So we're going to be making something like this. So we're going to jump right into it. So open up Illustrator and you're going to create a new file and you want to create a letter sized. We're going to imagine that we're printing this in a standard sheet of paper. So here we go. And once you open it, you are going to have this blank sheet of paper. Now I want you to imagine Illustrator being a uh, art room with a piece of paper on the table and you have all the art supplies you could possibly need, but it's all put away in very organized areas. And so let's give you a little bit of a tour around Illustrator so you know where everything is. So you have your toolbar over here and then you have some of your main settings for your tools up here. And then you also have your properties and settings over here. Now the main things you want to pay attention to are these guys. This is the selection tool and the direct selection tool. And these are going to come in in handy. The selection tool selects everything. The direct selection tool selects smaller pieces so you can manipulate it even further. So then the other thing you should pay attention to is stroke and fill. Stroke is the outside line of a shape and fill is the inside line of the shape. And you'll see in a little bit how you can control pretty much everything in stroke and fill using these areas. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to make a shape to create our color. So I'm going to make one that is just a solid um, teal or purple. So if you want to just, if you're like, oh, I don't need to pick a color, this is perfect, then you can just keep it. But if you're like, you know what, I'm a subtle lady or gentle folk, I would like to make something very specific. You can then switch to the paint palette here and then you can lighten it. You can change it to a little bit teal. I kind of like how that looks. I think it's a little more lively. So there, so that's how you can have a little bit more control over it. So now we have my whole piece set into uh, my, uh, the, the background is now colored. Now in Photoshop, you get layers. Here are the layers in Illustrator. You don't really need to use layers the same way in Illustrator because you can manipulate everything after the fact. You don't have to have things saved on layers in order to get rid of it. Like where if you have a photo and you need to get rid of it, you want to turn the eye off on the photo later. Here you can click on that photo. It's a lot easier to manipulate, thing, manipulate things. So layers aren't as important as they are in Photoshop. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make another square. So I'm going to unselect, oops, cancel. I'm going to grab this guy and I'm going to make another square here to make kind of my first little area. And as you can see, my fill is black. I'm going to make this white now and I'm going to change the fill to be a different color. I want it to be lighter. I'm going to just scroll it along. I kind of like how that looks. So I'm a little bit more blue maybe, but that's about right. So I've got my first little box. Now for this box, I'm also going to round the corner. So this is the first little trick you can use for manipulating your shape. If you click on these little guys and hold it, you can actually round your corners. The other thing too is you can change the size of the stroke. Right now it was at one point, now it's at three points, and you can bring it up way thicker if you want. But I'm going to leave mine at kind of a delicate three points. That's perfect. Now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make another one, but this time I, wait, I control, control Z to undo. I'm going to go to some of these other tools. So you have a rounded rectangular, which you can do manually. You've got the ellipsy tool, which is a circle. And so that's pretty uh, simple to use. You can do pretty much any shape you want. I'm going to stick with kind of the square shapes to kind of give it that Y2K kind of look. The one I want you to avoid though, when you get in here, this one is a ton of fun, but it is, it is stupid. It is a stupid tool. <laughs> it, it's hard to control. And until uh, you know what to actually do with it, it kind of ends up just being more of a nuisance than an actual tool. So I'm going to go to the star tool because um, one thing you can do with the star is after you make a star, if you go to the cursor, which are the arrow keys on your keyboard, you can make more points to the star and I'm holding my mouse down. So I'm not it's, it's still connected. I haven't released the clicker on the mouse yet. And if I go down, I can make a triangle. 
So now I can adjust this. I can bring it over here. I can make a triangle. Now I can also uh, adjust the size of the triangle and all that other stuff. I can make it do whatever I want. I don't want it though. I want rectangles today, but those are the different shapes you can use. So I'm going to grab another rectangle. I'm going to size it. I'm going to make it a little bit different color. Maybe that's perfect. So now I have these two. Now I want to add something else in here. I want to do some lines. So if I take this guy, I'm going to make a little border line over here. And this is where also I'm going to put my text later. So here's the first example of where like I laid the line but I want to change where it is. So I want it to be over here. And as you move stuff around, you will see there's little guiders and little things to help you figure out where your line goes. You can move the distance. This will kind of help you set what the direction it'll be. And so I'm going to grab another line now. I'm going to have it kind of cross. And I can line it up like that. And that's then that's set. So now I've got kind of this two little uh, designs. I can also put some other designs in here. I can kind of lay down some other lines. I can put some other designs around it to kind of give it a kind of an interesting little look. And right now it doesn't really have the same look that I was going for that I kind of showed in some of my references, but I'm kind of playing with lines. I'm seeing what's possible with them and I can play around with the size and what color they are a little bit later. So I've got some little line designs there. Play around with your line tools. So you kind of understand how it works and don't forget to try out the direct select, which remember moves everything. And then your select select, which this allows you to move very specific parts. Like if I double click on this, I can adjust just that section. So you can kind of create another little element of design here to kind of make it your own. So there. So I've kind of got those two. Now I'm going to show you text. Text is really useful in Illustrator and you can find it using the T tool. And when you drop text in, a lot of people have this desire to draw in the text box. Don't do that. Uh, Control Z. I just click, tap, and then I highlight it and then I can write it in. So you could write your name as the main one. I really like, a, um, I'm going to give it a Sailor Moon. I'm going to look, so I'm going to go Moon Child as my thing here. And once you set it, you can then highlight. And over here in properties, you have your elements that you can change it. You can change what the font is. So I'm going to just use this really weird font. You can change it manually, the size to make it larger. You can change the like uh, boldness if it's got that option. You can change the color. I'm going to change it to this Yet right, really yet light color. I'm going to go to direct select. I'm going to move it. And I don't like how that looks. I want it to be brighter. I'm going to go to fill, make it even brighter. There we go. So now I have my moon child. I've got this. Now I want to put something in here. So if we were looking at my references that I have, you can see there's like the grid, there's photos, there's little dots and squares. You can kind of use these as an example. If you look up like wallpaper aesthetic or geometric design, these kind of things kind of come up. I like this color palette and I've already reserved a little picture here from uh, the interwebs and I've got this old uh, example here. By the way, if you've ever watched Sailor Moon, you know the significance of the computer and in order to click on anything, you can then drag it and then size it. And you want to make sure, though, that you watch the perspective. So as I'm doing this um, and I've drag and dropped my image in, I want to watch out that I don't squat it too much so that it doesn't work anymore. I want to be very careful with it. So there I've, I've set in my image. So I have one image in there. And now that I have this image, I want to bring these colors into the rest of my picture, kind of in that, like I said, that color palette. I love the, the idea of a color palette. So I'm going to make a little circle here. And then I am going to, while it's still selected, anything that is selected, you can edit at any point. So here's my first little selection tool. I'm going to go over to my ink dropper. It's also I on the, if you click I on your keyboard, that's a shortcut key. And I can then set, okay, that is the color that I want that to be because I'm just picking up the color that's inside of this. So I can grab another one and I could either, if I want to keep them exactly the same, all I have to do is control C for copy and control V for paste. 
And now I have another one right here and using my black arrow key, I can bring this one here and then I can control V to do another one. So now I have three. Um, fun fact, uh, aesthetics are always, uh, it's more aesthetic to use uh, odd numbers as opposed to um, like even numbers. That's why on a jacket, there's an odd number of buttons. It's just more pleasing to look at. So I'm doing three as opposed to four. But now I did them all the same color. I select it. I go to I and I can change the color. I go back to black or V on the keyboard and then I can select it. I go to I on the keyboard or just select it and then I can change the color there. So now I have all three and I don't like how dark this one is in comparison. So I'm going to choose this color instead. And like I said, you can change it at any point. So the other thing too is I can adjust now what I could make them all have a stroke around them so that they're all white and circled like that. Or I could click on it and say no stroke, just like this. And this is important to remember, especially when you decide to start drawing shapes. So let's say I use the pen tool. The pen tool is this guy. And the pen tool is really nice because you can draw exact things. So you can, it draws lines and it can draw shapes, but you can also grab and pull and you can create other shapes and trace things specifically with the pen tool. But if you're tracing something and you want to be able to see through it, it gets really difficult when the fill is set. So if you go to here and go to no fill, then it's way easier to trace something because it doesn't block what you're tracing or the sketch you're bringing in. Because this is really popular with Illustrator is people will draw their sketch physically and then they will bring it into Illustrator and trace it, vectorizing it into a uh, nice clean mode. So this is what I want you to do today. I want you to very uh, quickly make some shapes, kind of create this uh, little aesthetic kind of element using geometric shapes and lines and using the selector tool and the direct selector tool, changing the colors of something, add in an image that you want to add. It could be, um, if we look back at the references again, some of them are illustrations, some of them are photos, some of them are stuff from anime or influence or like different drawings. There's a lot of different things that you can use to put into this. The only thing that you kind of the requirement that I want you to do, I want you to show text. I want you to show your ability to make geometric shapes. I want you to place an image and I want you to have like color, like a colored background. So those are pretty much the only things and those will be listed as well in the description so that when you do this yourself, you can challenge it and really feel like you get a handle on the main tools to know for your uh, Illustrator project. So I hope you enjoy playing around with it and good luck.